the next thing that we're going to do is dive into uh, brainstorming all of the different uh, words that you can use when you're going to go search for these Facebook groups. Now, the reason that we focus on Facebook groups is because they're the easiest method for being able to post a marketing um, article to the entire group, let people comment on it, and then also pull individuals aside and speak to them one-on-one. -on -one. So anywhere that you could do that, uh, it makes it easier for you to uh, be able to do this whole marketing strategy that I'm about to show you in the later videos. So let's go through, I'm gonna share my screen here with you. This is just a topic brainstorming. You're not actually going to write down any groups here. You can if you want to, but really what we're after is finding the words that we can pull from our um, document. So for this next part, we're going to um, start pulling words out of our emotional workbook uh, into this brainstorming document here we're going to be pulling over the words that are going to be effective for going out and finding groups. And so if you notice what I've done here is outlined the different unaware, problem aware, solution aware, and niche aware. We're going to go through each of those different words uh, or word categories so that we can um, find our customers online where they might be. So under unaware, what we're talking about with the unaware group types, uh, these are, say if you're in the dating niche, you're, you're, you're focusing on relationship management, then what you would do is um, you would go after words and group types that your ideal customer is going to be hanging out in. Maybe if you're focusing on divorce or you're focusing on um, breakups, that might be one thing. People that are unaware of those problems happening are going to be hanging out in groups that are like uh, dating groups. They're going to be like hanging out in marriage. These are unaware of the problem that they're going to run into where they might need you. Now, they might have already been in a dating group or they might be rebounding from a problem or something and be in those groups. But uh, what you're looking for in these, by listing out these types of words, you're looking for natural things your audience would do just based on the type of people that they are. What kind of groups would they join regardless of the problem or solution that you solve, just them being them? So you might find um, people in their 30s uh, could be a very likely group if that were your ideal customer and you're in the dating niche. Now, if you're in the, the real estate investment niche and you're going to help people get into real estate investing, it might just be as simple as real estate investing or first time home buyers. If you're in, uh, if you're doing the construction and you're focusing on uh, recruiting candidates and such, you need to determine, is it the clients that you're after or is it the uh, candidates that you're, that you're going to be marketing to? And you could be marketing to both very easily. So here we might do CEOs. We might do um, executives. We might do leadership, um, TED Talks, what, whatever they might be following or uh, jumping into just naturally based off of uh, their interests or what they might be based off of the type of people that they are. Now, if you're into to marketing and you're focusing on a type of niche uh, or customer, then it might be that you are going for chiropractors. You're going for uh, roofers, plumbers, something of that type. These are completely unaware people that don't even know that they need marketing. They're just coming together based upon their commonalities. And so you would brainstorm, you would want to brainstorm a bunch of ideas here that are just simply the commonalities or common points that somebody might come together for. Now, the next item is problem aware. What we're going to do with problem aware is that we're going to come up with more single words or phrases that describe the problems that our ideal customers are experiencing. So if we're doing the relationship management niche or the relationship niche, uh, we might be saying um, divorce, 
breakups, we might be saying, um, let's focus on the problems here. If you go back to your worksheet that identifies uh, or talks about the problems and the pains, then you'll be able to pull key words out of those problems and pains uh, that people may might be um, looking for groups based on. So it might be an addiction because of their emotional stress. It might be, let's say if you're going after the uh, candidates again, um, the problems that candidates might be experiencing could be unemployment. They could be um, talking about an injury on the job. Um, let me see. So what other kinds of problems would you, do you have in your document from all your research that you can pull from to find the different kinds of groups that they might be coming together for? Let's say if we're after the real estate niche, um, you might say hard money lending because they might have to go for hard money because they can't find bank financing if you're helping them get bank financing. They might be going for down payment assistance that sort of thing. If you're after finding companies that need to save money on their utility bills, it could be some words from your document that describe that. Whatever your problems are, outline it here to brainstorm what groups they might come together for in order to understand or mourn about their problem. So solutions are the same way. You're going to find words that your ideal customers are coming together for based upon the solution. So if you're in the real estate niche and you are looking to find entrepreneurs that want to get into new properties and they haven't gotten into those properties yet, uh, the solution that they might think they need in order to get into their first rental property could be mindset based. So you could, they might be going into mindset or law of attraction. Uh, they might think they need the book, think and grow rich or rich dad, poor dad. So they might be going after things like that, that are solution based um, and coming together with like-minded people. If you're doing, um, exercise or fitness training or something of that sort, they might be going into lose weight or weight loss or nutrition groups or workout groups, because those are the tactical solutions that they think they need in order to get their desired outcome. For um, recruiting, it might just be as simple as um, recruiters or job hunting or con, um, construction jobs. Or associations that are similar to, um, that they think they might need to get become a part of an association in order to network to find the jobs that they need. So you brainstorm that. With the uh, niche aware, what you're doing here is you're going back to the you're going to come back and pull from all the top influencers, websites, and media that they might be following. So these right here, you could probably drop into this niche if they didn't fall into one of these other categories, um, because you're going to be wanting to go after who are your competitors. That's where that's what falls into the niche. Um, uh, it, it could be, I know for marketing, there's a ton of groups out there that talk about six-figure lifestyle and six-figure income or uh, social media marketing, you know, these type of niche marketing ideas, or they might, if they're trying to save money, they might go for uh, auditing some audit group or something like that. Uh, so understand your niche, understand who's out there, understand the influencers that are in. That's why we're doing this research so that we can fill out this document with great group ideas in order to go find those groups and get in front of our audience. Okay, another way to come up with good ideas is to find books, influencers, interests. These are all the kinds of topics that you wanna be pulling from in order to fill out the ideas in this, uh, this 
brainstorming document here. And another one is um, competitors. Okay, I'm gonna unmute you guys. Do you have any questions about um, brainstorming this document in order to help you find Facebook groups? I think it seems brilliant. Great. Bill? I think you said go to Google Facebook groups. Nope, just go to Facebook. Okay, Facebook. Um, yep. Really, it doesn't have to be Facebook groups. There's a lot of different group types that are available to us. And so I've listed out a bunch of different group types right here in, um, in the membership area. So Facebook groups are the easiest to market to because uh, Facebook has done such a good job bringing together a community and creating a community using these groups. No other platform has focused on their groups as much as Facebook. And uh, just in 2020 um, for the Super Bowl, I mean, they've really amped up their efforts in order to make groups a very prominent and successful thing on their platform. So it makes sense that we would use Facebook groups as a first attempt to get in front of our audience. Now, LinkedIn groups, they do exist, but they're not nearly as engaged or it, the people in those groups really don't communicate uh, and engage at the level that Facebook groups do. Now, what we know about LinkedIn is that the conversion rates are much higher than Facebook because Facebook is getting a little fatigued or the audiences on Facebook are getting a little fatigued to having people send them friend requests and send them messages and market their services through Facebook. So you've got to be much more tactful in how you go about Facebook than on LinkedIn. With LinkedIn, you can go out and be, be uh, more promoting than you can on Facebook, but you don't get in front of as many people. Um, but it's much more intentful because Facebook has a completely different intent than LinkedIn. So you need to keep in mind when you're looking for these groups and when you're joining them, because uh, these are all the areas that you can find groups to get in front of. So you're going to go to those locations and then search these different key terms that you've come up with and brainstorm in order to find the type of people to find your audiences online. So Twitter is still a great option. A lot of these platforms might seem very saturated. Individuals in the groups might be difficult to um, um, cut through. It might feel like you have a lot of competition on what you're dealing with, but that's okay because the methods that I'm going to teach you are going to attract your customers to you. Board Reader is a great one. If you're looking for forums, you can go through Board Reader and type in all of the words we've just brainstormed. And you'll be able to come up with every forum in the world that is talking about those different keywords that you've typed in to brainstorm and to find your audience. Slack communities are also a great one. Slack is just a simple chat uh, group. It, it works a lot the same way that Facebook groups work. Uh, when people are committed to Slack, they spend a great deal of time on it and they're on it for work. They will have Slack up and every group that they join on Slack is always available to them. So if they're a part of public groups on Slack, that means they're going to have it up during work. So if you're looking for more business to business kind of thing, then you can go here and um, take from the brainstorming document and search and find public groups that have plenty of members in them uh, that you can communicate with. Look at this one, uh, mind the product international product community, whatever that is. But if that were your group, there's 30,000 people right there and here and here uh, that you can go on, get in front of and um, start doing the marketing strategy. Or you can also do your research and pull from these groups and fill out your document. So another one is Stack Exchange. It works a lot like Quora in that you can come here and uh, the bigger the bubble, the larger the community. So home improvement, that's a great one right there if you're, con if you're targeting contractors. Um, let me see, web applications, webmasters, if you're targeting them. Home brewing, 
So we found that Budweiser was one of the groups that was not a microbrewing, but had it been microbrewing, if they would have been interested in it, we could have gone there. So there's a ton of groups right here. Now these don't work the same way. You've got to play by this platform's rules, but you can still get out there and promote yourself or promote um, solutions to the problems that people are posting. And then you can communicate with them in the um, comments. I think you can even send direct messages on that platform. Quora works in the same way. Discord is the same as Slack. Just to show you how Board Reader works, you can come here and type in the different panes that you might, your audience might be experiencing. And then you can see in the bottom left hand of my screen, this is hardwarezone.com. Familiar with the four situations. <laughs> Spellcaster, what led to divorce? This is also <laughs> citydata.com, forum relationships. I had no idea that citydata.com <laughs> would be a place I would go to talk to my avatar. But if you're in the relationship niche, there you go. You found it through here. So what's great about these communities and forums is that using this marketing strategy I'm going to show you, uh, all of the forums allow you to do a one-on-one -on -one communication as well as post um, threads or topics, marketing topics in these forums. So you could easily go there and post about your audience or post your marketing that talks to your audience in order to capture their attention and get them to uh, come to you, start attracting them. So Reddit is another very good forum, another very good group. So on Reddit, they have thousands of different topics that you can um, search here. Contractor construction. So right there, contractor and home improvement. 1.5 million members in home improvement. We found through our research that um, the avatar we were going for for recruiting candidates loved home improvement. So there's 1.5 million members you can get in front of right there. That's going to be probably greater than any Facebook group that you find. You could also do, um, if you were going after hunters, you could type in Second Amendment. That might have been a word that you brainstormed that they like to come together on. Um, I'm sure if you typed in divorce here, you would find a ton of divorce communities. Yep, relationships, divorce, child-free. Uh, I mean, th those are huge. Th 3 million, 1.3 million. These are huge groups that you can join and start marketing to. And if you want to talk about real estate investing, Reddit is probably going to be your group for sure. So commercial real estate, real estate investing, there's 150,000 members there. So these are, these are a great way to, for you to come in and uh, find your audiences online um, or the forums that they might participate in. Now that doesn't mean that you have to only use these resources. Uh, social networks are gonna come and they're gonna go, okay? We've got TikTok that popped up overnight. If you had a younger audience, I directed a client there and said, hey, you know what? You're going to find your audience on TikTok. You're going to have to figure out how to use the platform rules that TikTok restricts you to in order to get in front of your audience. But whenever you get into a new platform uh, that's just starting up, like Area 51 for Stack Exchange, all of these are proposed new platforms for asking questions for people to come together. So these are proposed groups. And uh, this one is going into public beta. So if you wanted to get into drones and model aircraft, or if, or if that was your audience, get into them from here because the people that get onto these platforms first are the ones that stay the elite um, influencers and experts on these platforms for all time. So constructed languages, let me see, hardware recommendations. So go through here and see if there's any new communities that are coming out that you might want to be a part of. Okay. 
So if you go out and, and uh, I sent him to TikTok and ended up, what ended up happening is he figured out how to do video, live videos within 60 seconds. He had to record them quickly and, and get nuggets of gold out there within 60 seconds. But because his audience was on TikTok, within the first week, he had something like 2 million views of his videos and something like 100,000 followers um, on his new profile within seven days. But what happens is that when these new platforms come out, you run into something called first movers advantage, where when you're the first one to jump on and start using this strategy that I'm, that I'm teaching you, uh, you're going to excel right to the top. Now, I don't know what that is for recruiting, what those platforms are, but uh, maybe LinkedIn comes out with a new tactic. So you're going to want to pay attention to what all tactics people are taking advantage of and what's out there for you. And you're going to want to get out there in front of those, um, those items. All right. So now that we're kind of done brainstorming those, when it comes to Facebook groups and finding the Facebook groups that you want to participate in, um, let's look at this one, small business networking. Now, maybe, I mean, this is 104,000 members here. When you're finding uh, the group that you want to participate in, uh, or if you're trying to find your audience, come into the group spend a few days in it. If you think, if it popped up on your radar from your brainstorming topics, jump into the group and see if it's a group that has your audience. So to do this, excuse me, in order to do this, you're going to want to use the search function and you're going to want to um, go back to your emotional document and you're going to want to um, pull in the question. So you're going to want to say pain here. And what are people's um, pain point for health? So this is a research post here. You could dive in and uh, if, if that was you and, and pull all those questions into your emotional map. Who uses video marketing? Uh, so we got some comments here. If you were a video marketer and uh, you want to learn from them, so let's keep going. What motivated you to start your business? If you help people start their business, there you go. So this one might be for a recruiter, help business owners solve their employee pain points so they can create greater profits. Or if you're helping companies save money, um, go find out what these guys are talking about, greater profits. That's a key word that might've come up in your search. So if you find that this is your group that has your audience and you type in pain, all of this is gonna be tailored to you. So you're gonna be able to both Confirm that this is a group that you that has your audience. You're also going to pull in what your audience is talking about back into your emotional questionnaire. So you could type in um, worry. That's a question from our workbook. Do you worry that your business will collapse without constant presence? That could be a statement from your workbook that you say, yes, my audience does worry from that. So if you were targeting small businesses, um, obviously this is a small business group. So we could open this right up and, uh, and see, is this something that I need to add to my uh, emotional worksheet? So it depends. I used to, but not anymore. I agree with the previous. Yes, this guy does sometimes, but I automate a lot of it now. Okay, so what you're, what are you looking for when you're searching for groups? Let's just go ahead and grab um, recruiter and let's go search for some Facebook groups. What exactly are we looking for when we're looking for new Facebook groups to be a part of? So I'm typing in recruiter here. So six-figure recruiters, independent recruiter staffing, and headhunters. Now, not only are you going to find other recruiters like yourself, these are all niche groups that would, um, we, we could have gotten this topic from the niche as well, right? Because it looks like um, you're going to find a lot of other recruiters or in these groups. But the thing is, 
you're also going to find your avatar that's looking for recruiters. Remember, we said that we believed this was a, um, if they're looking for a solution, they're going to be looking for recruiters. So if you go into these groups, you are also going to find parts of your audience in these groups looking for recruiters. So not only will you find recruiters, but you're going to find the audience looking for them. So same with therapists. Law of attraction may have been that solution they're looking for. So if we did divorce, looking to help people get over divorce. What we're looking for in these Facebook groups is uh, between, um, I like to go as low as 3,000 on a group, and that requires a slightly different, you get, you work that kind of group much differently than you would work um, a group that is, goodness, like a, a 100,000 or 300,000. With 100 and 300,000 size in your groups, uh, you're going to be doing a lot more posting, uh, and your your and your commenting is going to be one off because you're not going to see the same audience over and over again. The algorithm is going to constantly mix you into the group. But with the smaller groups of you know one and a half, rise above divorce support group for men, that's a great one. Your audience is definitely going to be in there. If your uh, relationship uh, manager get helping people get over breakup. And you're targeting men like they're in there and while you might feel like hey can i advertise in a group like that that has my avatar or has my ideal customer um, there's going to be a different strategy so you're going to use more commenting in groups of this size and less marketing if you do marketing in groups like this you might get kicked out right away but if you're doing commenting you come off less as a marketer and you come more off as a friend. So you're going to get more people coming to you. So let's find audit or save on utilities. Let me see. Whatever you might have brainstormed in here, if you search for it, you're going to find your group. Try to shoot for 10,000 and up if you're going to do the commenting strategy. It works really great in 10,000 uh, groups of 10,000. The marketing or the value posting works really good in groups of 50,000 and up. All right, so that's how you would go about finding your groups. So I'm going to let you unmute yourselves now. Do you have any questions now about going out and finding these groups? Yeah, if everybody's good, then uh, we'll call it a day then.